Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Today we're going to learn how to do Matrix Intel RAID, which is probably something not many people have tried. And if you haven't, today we're going to show you how to do it. We'll be right back. Hey guys, Joe Tech here, and guess what? We're going to set up RAID. So now on the screen you see the starting of the system. This happens to be an older system, so the BIOS is not GUI based. This happens to be an older system. Core i5, 655K, 16 gigs of RAM. It's slightly overclocked, I just changed it. So what we need to do is we need to go into integrated peripherals. And at this point, if you have an old system like this, or you can go into the legacy BIOS, then you would clearly see something similar to this. And then you change the option here to go to RAID. There are two different types. Down here as well, there is uh, the, gigab the Gigabyte controller, which uses the, the Marvel. If we hit enter here, if there's any hard drives connected to this particular RAID controller, which supports RAID 0 or RAID 1, only two drives are on this RAID controller, the Marvel. Uh, you hit enter here and then you can actually set up. I don't want to do this one. This is not about the Gigabyte Marvel RAID setup. This is all about Intel Matrix RAID, IRST. So at this point, if you wanted to do extreme hard drive, you can do that. You can turn that on. This will gray out, but you don't need it for the performance. But we're going to do it anyway. Simply set that up, save it, exit, save and exit setup. And at this point, it will uh, come up as, at this point, we would hit Control I after the drives have been detected. I happen to like this motherboard and stuff because it it's very feature rich got lots and lots of options that's why I keep using this during all my most of my videos that I do because it's great now at this point you hit control I and now you can create the RAID array now it is important to realize this is only for demonstration purposes only there are four physical drives here of which one is not the same it is recommended to keep all drives the same because the performance between the Western Digital and the Seagate drives are different there are different caches and it actually would make the RAID array drop out and, and, and break. And, 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 and that is not what we want to try. That's not what we're trying to show here. But in, in reality, you would want to keep all the drives identical for, so the performance is the same through and through. But the, again, like I said, this is only for demonstration purposes only. So at this point, we hit RAID 1, Create RAID Volume. At this point, we would name it. So let's say, for argument's sake, we name it Games. There are multiple uh, RAID options here. RAID 0, RAID 5, RAID 10. RAID 10 happens to be the most expensive uh, RAID setup because there are two RAID 0 arrays mirrored. So it's incredibly high performance here. So it's RAID 10. So RAID 0 plus 1. So RAID 0 is striping without parity. And then RAID 1 is mirrored. So it's two RAID zeros mirrored. That's like ultimate, <laughs> really, really quick. Uh, and then we have recovery and then mirroring. And since we have four drives, we can set up two RAID 1 arrays within the matrix um, Intel Rapid Storage Technology BIOS. So what we want to do today is RAID 0. Then we want to select the disks. Each time you hit enter. Then you hit the space bar to select the drives and then the down arrow. Hit enter. At this point, it's saying that RAID 0 with 128K, the typical value for RAID 0. We're going to leave it default. Go to capacity. At this point, if you want to do, if you've read my article about short stroking, we can actually get the fastest part of the drive and short stroke these drives. However, we're going to leave it default at the full capacity. Then we're going to create volume. 
Hit yes. And that is it. To delete the volume, you simply just hit number two, delete it, and then hit the delete key on your keyboard and delete the volume. But we're not going to go th do that right now. Go to number five. You can either move the arrow down to five or hit number five on the keyboard. You want to exit. Now we're going to boot into Windows. At this point, it's actually loading Windows, Windows 10. And once it comes up, we'll go into Disk Management. Disk Management, go to Manage. Disk Management. Say OK to this. There's the drive. New simple volume. At this point, we labeled this games. We labeled games prior, but that was in the BIOS. So that's the description of the RAID array. This is the description for Windows. I'll have it to format. And then we're going to test the, the performance of it, how fast it actually is. Here we go. So now that's done. If you look at the drive, 7.27 terabytes. It's a big RAID volume for uh, games. Holy macaroni. We're going to hard drive tack. Again, only for demonstration purposes. And we're going to run the benchmark. Watch how fast this goes. You'll be blown away. This is an old program. It's, it was the last time it was written for was Windows XP, but I use this to find the performance curve of hard drives, mechanical hard drives, or even solid state drives. It's very, very useful. So I continue to use it because it's very accurate. You'll see how fast this bad boy is. This is like smoking fast. It's ridiculous. Just about 800. Well, actually, yeah, in the beginning it's a little slower. Then it goes up to 800 megabytes a second, which is impressive. That's like smoking fast. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> That's just cool. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Helping people one video at a time. Purpose, passion, and pride. Take care.